Let's weld a welding cart. I'm ready. Here is our welding cart. It's a pile of square tubes. Uh, we got a pile of square tubes. I've already cut them to length because watching that is boring on camera. I have my design here. I have a completed design uh, I did on SketchUp on the computer, which I'll put on the screen now. Uh, looks kind of weird. It's incomplete. Uh, and we're certainly not going to build all of it today. If you don't like the design, too late. We're already building it. I cut all these to length. This, this is not part of the welding cart. Goodbye. I cleaned off the mill scale. This is one by one square tube. Uh, I went to the steel place last week and uh, they were closed because of a blizzard. Then I went there this week and I went there early and then I bought some steel and went home and, and blew the snow because we had another blizzard. It's been a very blizzardy, blizzardy winter so far. Anyways, this is one by one with eighth inch wall, which is a little bit heavier than I thought it was gonna be. Probably would have got thinner wall if I had planned ahead, but I don't do that. I do not, however, have the sheet, the like like for the shelves and stuff. Uh, they they didn't have it. Weird, huh? Steel shop didn't have the steel, but I, I paid for it, and they're gonna deliver it tomorrow when I'm at work, and we're gonna do that later. We're gonna do this part today, and I do mean we. I saw in a previous video, I showed my wife how to weld, and uh, now now we're doing stuff. This is this is literally date night. So romantic. It is romantic. Woo! <laughs> See, that's only. It's only slightly insincere. That's how you know she's she's telling the truth. I am so excited! Yay! <laughs> Alright, in preparation, we got another set of welding gloves, her size. We're gonna get her a helmet too when, when it's not so expensive, when it's on sale. In the meantime, I made my own helmet. I had this this uh, this welding glass here, welding shade, and I stuck it in a, uh, in a cinnamon toast crunch box. And this is aluminum foil tape, and I have a nose piece, and it's, I'm, I'm much prouder of this than I really should be, if, if I'm honest. I made it after dinner yesterday, waiting for the three-year-old to finish her not cinnamon toast crunch. I don't, I don't remember what we were eating, but she was not eating it. Totally not flammable. Yeah, no, this is fine. Whoever's holding the gun, they get the real mask. That, that's how we're going to do it. This is just observer technology right here. This is the base. This is just the basic frame of the base. We're going to do base, then a couple of shelves, and, uh, and then maybe uprights, stick them together. But I only have four of these magnets, so we got to do it kind of piecemeal here. And really, fingers crossed, it all goes together in the end, because I really didn't double check my measurements. Good to know. He, yeah, yeah, sorry I didn't tell you that before, but it, it, it was need to know basis. Okay, we're, we're moving on. Are we tack welding it? First? Yeah, I, I'm going to tack weld it. All right. So I'm wearing the observer mask. Oh, this is set for your head. Okay, there we go. Are you sure this mask is safe? Moving on. It's not just safe, it's 60% safe. Now I'm going to tack on this side too. Okay. I'll explain why after I do it. Do so. you have any sparks left when I did this? No. You were doing sheet metal, thin, 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 so we had all the settings turned down. This is a little bit more intense. Did you feel any sparks on your body? No. So I was so scared that this cinnamon toast welding mask was going to catch on fire. It won't catch on fire. It's got a waxy coating. Wait, wax is flammable, isn't it? Never mind, disregard what I say. Well, you're doomed. What? Why am I doomed? I'm wearing this. <laughs> Why would I want to wear the flammable one? Okay, I'm gonna run kitty corner, then flip it in kitty corner, and you'll do the rest of them. All right, now keep keep an eye on how slowly I move. Why are you way over there? Because I'm scared. Ah. See how slowly I went? Yeah. Yeah, you probably don't have to go that slow. Trust me, it's a lot less terrifying when you're not wearing paper on your face, okay? So I did a tack on each corner, and then I did two opposing ones on each side. And the reason I did that is because when you weld and it cools, it can shrink and pull it in. So you kind of want to do it a little evenly. If we were really being careful, we would measure everything now and kind of make a plan from that. But I, I don't care that much, so we're just going to keep going, all right? Okay, your turn with this mask. How about you start here on this one? Wait, wait, I need my mask. I am ready. Yeah, and this 
it. Yeah, you missed a little bit, but it's fine. I see a lot more sparks when I'm wearing this mask. What gives? Yeah, it's not bad. Yep, that looks good. That looks perfect. Weld number two, and it's already perfect. That looks really good, actually. So you'll notice when you're looking through the mask, you can see a puddle, right? So what you want to do is just kind of trace back and forth at the front of the puddle. You know, because you want to make sure that this piece gets melted and this piece gets melted. So if you, when you start, there'll be a puddle forming in the middle. Go to the right, like go to this side on the front. Zigzag, zigzag, zigzag. Yeah, zigzag, or you, what people do, uh, they don't always zigzag. Sometimes they arc like this. This is exaggerated. Okay. So that the wire is always zapping at the leading edge of the puddle. That's how you get better penetration. And the back and forth is just so you get this piece and this piece, tying them together with the same puddle. But that was very good. You're doing very good at this. I appreciate the encouragement. But you don't think you're doing well? Is that what I'm hearing? No, it actually helps, you know? Yeah. If you were always just critical and only tell me what I need to do better. Well, it, it looks good to me. I, <laughs> bad. What, what? I don't know, what do you mean critical? Well, that's because some people, when they teach stuff, they always see, like, what could be always better. Well, newsflash, see. I don't know how to weld. So the fact that this is working is kind of a miracle. But either way, you're doing well. Let's try again. All right, I saw the back and forth. Good. Okay, um... How do you do the inside edge? I don't know. Looks to me like you need to move your gun in closer. Closer? Yeah, you had quite a bit of stick out there. No, I don't. Well, the weld looks good. Don't listen to me then. Also, I felt sparks on my head. Oh. Ugh. See? You have sparks on your head, but if you had this nice covering, then you wouldn't have that problem. With that, I was sure to catch on fire. Hey, no mask is perfect. What do you want? It's made out of a cereal box. But you know, them whole grains, they help you weld. That one looks super nice. We well, got all the inside edges. Now the only thing left is the outside edges. That sounded good. You know that sizzle, that bacony sizzle. That's what you want. No problem, no problem. This mask works really well. Yeah, it does. It's like, it's like comfy, and I can see what I'm doing. Just the fear of it's going to catch on fire. Yeah, it's, it's minor. You, you want to live forever? Minor. Yeah. I like to live longer. <laughs> At least not die young from stupidity. Is that what you're saying? Exactly. And why do you marry me? I didn't think you were that stupid. Wow. <laughs> you're not stupid. <laughs> <laughs> did you see that? You heard it. I have evidence. Did, did you read me? Not stupid. <laughs> Anyway, she wanted to stop screwing around at that point and go chill. So I sort of started welding up some of the other parts. Not all of them, but, you know. I gotta say, I I really like this welder. It's, a, it's an Eastwood MIG something or another. I forget. It's, it's a 220 welder. The 221. They don't have that many welders, I don't think. But I really like the way it works. It's just nice nice and easy. Seems to do a good job. I mean, I, I couldn't break the weld free. And I'm not exactly muscle man. And I mean, it's it's got to be relatively easy to use. I mean, I taught myself how to do it, basically, and I don't really know how to do it. And then I taught my wife how to do it, and she did a pretty good job, wouldn't you say? I, I think so. Certainly made my first welds look like crap. I know that. Okay, right. so this is going to be the tricky part, because I welded all these and ground the things smooth so we could stack like this. Mm -hmm. But we need these uprights to be straight and not, like, crookedy and stuff. And I have no way to do that. I just have these four little welding magnets from Harbor Freight, so... Don't you have this right angle to... Yeah, but I can't, like, clamp this. You know, I don't really have that a... That looks good enough. It's, it's, it's fine. <laughs> so, you're not really certain that that's going to work. No! Okay, get your, get your welding mask. Let's hope that your plan works. I if it doesn't, if it doesn't, I can grinder it all apart. 
because I wouldn't want a body cart that kind of rocks. <laughs> it's gonna totally rock. Well, you know what I meant. No, I don't. What? Moving on. Maybe I can add some more. More support? More crap in the way of me welding, I mean? So, it occurred to me I'm not wearing socks, but should I be concerned? Yes, you should wear socks. Did I show you the design for this? I think you're showing me a vague picture of it that you had through. That's the design. Yep, that's the one. Where is it? Um, yeah. gone forever. It's not going to have all four legs. There's there not going to be one this corner? Nope. Why is that? Stole that design from this old Tony. Okay, I really do need that design. There it is. Is that it? Yep. On it was on the side. opposite side of the same paper you were holding. What? Well, how would I know that's a design? It's just... Uh, we'll let the camera decide. Is that not a design? That That's 100% a welding cart design. How? What do you mean how? It's not a cart. It's not a portrait of myself, that's for sure. Well, all I see are some rectangular rectangles with numbers on it. It's rectangles! Ta-da! And you're going to do these ones, okay? Tack it? Yep. Okay. Good to go. Yep, that's good. Might have to hold the gun with your left hand. I hope I'm not ruining your project. Our project. Our project? This is our project. I hope I'm not ruining it. You are not. But it's good to me. I think you're a little too generous with me. It is not that difficult to build oh, things if I... you just try. Always like the saying, Done is better than perfect. Doing the job is better than never finishing it because you're trying to make it perfect. Now this goes here. How are you going to do that? Uh, it's going to be pretty tricky, I think, because the magnets aren't going to hold it. Also, it doesn't really fit. Do you have a bar that you could temporarily set here to hold it up? Of course not. Does that happen to be the perfect height? Yes. Well, is it really? I don't, I don't believe that. That can't be... Wow, <laughs> that is perfect. Random piece of wood. Random plank of wood. <laughs> I cut this length of wood like seven, eight years ago. One of these angles is going to be all screwy, so just sort of tack it in place and we'll call it good enough. Wow, that is a huge gap. Maybe one day I'll never fix that. What I would do to fill the gap is I would just start inside and work and kind of do a bead. Because as you go, the bead will fill in the gap. That is, that is a success, I would say. Ooh. Good, good. Good, good. Isn't welding fun? Yeah, because all the sparks. Yeah, well, I'm telling you, we should get a TIG welder. Yes. Can you say yes closer to my microphone, where the world can hear you? We should get a TIG welder. Next up is... Say thank you, freakishly accurate piece of wood, for your service. I'll get lost. Okay, kid woke up, so now you're stuck with me. I'm gonna do a bunch of tacking and random other junk. So the idea here is I don't need this third beam because it's gonna be all welded solid. It should be able to support it. My MIG welder fits under here. It'll also fit on top. These are handles. I can also hang the helmets on them. You know, hang other stuff, and then I'll put a rack for grinders and all that other jazz. Two tanks in the back. Probably gonna put the welder on the top, but the idea here is if in the future we get a TIG welder, I'll be able to take my MIG welder and put it underneath and it'll fit. And I'll put the TIG welder on the top. Unless the TIG welder is smaller than, uh, or small enough anyway to fit under here. Then the TIG welder is going on the bottom. So that's the plan. This will be storage, storage shelf, and other junk will be welded onto the side to hang grinders and a power strip over here probably. And I have caster wheels and a bucket over there I'm going to put on the bottom. So the sheet came in, by the way. It's the next day, so the sheet was delivered. Uh, but it is trapped under my car. Less yak yak, more spark spark. If I, if I ever get a TIG welder, fingers crossed, please very soon. Probably not very soon. Uh, I'll have room. I'll be able to use the same welding cart. So that's the plan. Planning ahead. You know, when it's, when it's important, when TIG welders are on the line, you, play, you plan ahead. I have a large gap here. Oh, you're going to start from So I'm going to start here and kind of go back and forth. Okay. 
I was just going back and forth because there was quite a large gap there and I wanted to make sure the puddle melted into both pieces and filled up the gap with wire. So far this hasn't caught on fire and it's been sitting next to the thing that I've been doing. So I'm thinking perhaps this uh, cardboard isn't as flammable as I thought it would be. This thing is getting heavier and heavier. Keep adding parts to it and it just won't get any lighter. I don't understand. So I finished welding the parts and I think it's strong enough, even though I'm missing a leg here. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's strong enough. I'm sitting on it. You know, I can always give it a good, good test. It says one inch thick steel. Yep, it's strong enough. I weigh triple what the welding cart weighs, so I think we'll be good. But I think we're out of time. Uh, n next up, I suppose, we'll, we'll finish it, hopefully. We'll see. No promises.